Harry and Meghan shine a light on cyber abuse, a call to action. In a world where social media can often feel like a double-edged sword, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have once again stepped into the spotlight, this time to address a pressing issue affecting countless individuals, cyber abuse. Their recent CBS interview is not just a platform for storytelling, it's a clarion call for parents, educators, and society to take action. With Harry emphasizing the role of parents as first responders, the couple's message is more relevant than ever. So, let's dive into this compelling discussion and explore the crucial insights they shared about mental health, cyberbullying, and the importance of awareness. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. In the CBS interview, Harry and Meghan tackled the uncomfortable yet critical topic of cyber abuse. Their candidness about their own experiences with online harassment resonated deeply, shedding light on a pervasive issue that affects people of all ages. As they shared their journey, it became abundantly clear that cyber abuse isn't just a buzzword, it's a real and damaging reality for many. Harry pointedly pointed out that parents need to act as the first line of defense against this insidious form of bullying. We need to be vigilant, he stated, urging parents to educate themselves and their children about the dangers lurking online. This isn't just about monitoring screen time, it's about active engagement, communication, and understanding the emotional landscape of young people in today's digital age. The statistics surrounding cyber abuse are alarming. According to various studies, a significant percentage of young people report experiencing some form of online harassment. This harassment can take many shapes, from hurtful comments to more severe threats. The anonymity of the internet often emboldens individuals to say things they might never dare to voice in person. In the interview, Megan shared her own experiences with online trolling, emphasizing how detrimental it can be to mental health. It's easy to dismiss these comments as just words, but they can have a lasting impact, she noted. Her vulnerability in discussing these issues highlighted the emotional toll that cyber abuse can take, not just on public figures but on everyday individuals. One of the most striking aspects of the interview was Harry's powerful assertion that parents must position themselves as first responders when it comes to their children's mental health. We have to be aware of the signs and symptoms, he urged, emphasizing that many parents might not recognize early indicators of distress, such as withdrawal from social activities or changes in behavior. Harry's call to action is particularly timely. With the rise of social media, children are exposed to a barrage of information and opinions that can be overwhelming. Parents are encouraged to foster open communication, creating a safe space for children to express their feelings and experiences. This proactive approach can make a significant difference in identifying issues before they escalate. One of the most alarming takeaways from the interview is the importance of recognizing the signs that may indicate a child is struggling with their mental health. Harry emphasized that many parents may not know what to look for, leading to devastating consequences. We need to educate ourselves, he said, highlighting the necessity of understanding that signs of distress can often be subtle. For instance, changes in sleep patterns, sudden drops in academic performance, or a shift in social circles can all be red flags. Harry and Meghan advocated for increased awareness and education around these signs, encouraging parents to be proactive rather than reactive. This knowledge can empower parents to intervene early and provide the necessary support. While parents play a pivotal role, the responsibility doesn't rest solely on their shoulders. Schools and communities must also step up to tackle cyber abuse and mental health issues. During the interview, Megan emphasized the need for educational institutions to implement comprehensive programs that address mental health and cyberbullying. Schools should be safe spaces, she asserted, advocating for initiatives that educate students about the impact of their words and actions online. By fostering an environment of empathy and understanding, schools can empower students to stand against cyber abuse and support one another. Harry and Megan's personal journey adds a unique perspective to the discussion. Having faced intense scrutiny and cyber abuse themselves, their insights are rooted in real experiences. Harry recalled moments when he felt overwhelmed by negative comments and the toll it took on his mental well-being. This personal connection makes their message resonate even more strongly. In sharing their story, they hope to inspire others to speak out and seek help. 
you're not alone, Megan reassured viewers, emphasizing the importance of reaching out for support. Their candidness serves as a beacon of hope for those struggling with similar issues, reminding them that healing is possible. Community support plays a crucial role in combating cyber abuse and fostering mental well-being. Harry and Meghan highlighted the importance of building networks of support, whether it's through friends, family, or organizations. We need to lift each other up, Harry said, calling for a collective effort to address these challenges. In recent years, many organizations have emerged to combat cyberbullying and provide resources for those affected. From hotlines to support groups, there are avenues for individuals to seek help and find solace in shared experiences. Harry and Meghan's advocacy for these resources underscores the importance of community in the healing process. Beyond personal stories and community support, the couple also discussed the need for systemic change. Cyber abuse is not just a personal issue, it's